Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I'm here to play along with the Jada Blossom December Challenge. Hey, so I am using today um, Dual Bugs Rainbow Petite Prints in the Gingham Linen, the Let It Snow Pad, the P13 Stamping Pad, Skin Tones, uh, along with Gnome Baked Stamp Set and the Gnome Baked Outline Dies, the Sweet Christmas Wishes Stamp Set along with the, the Outline Dies, our Merry Christmas Nomi along with the Outline Dies, our Gumdrop Stencil, the Jada Blossom Christmas Add-ons 2, the Gnome Dies Gingerbread Add-ons, and the Girl Gnome Dies. So I'm first taking a piece of Paper Tray Ink Raspberry Fizz cardstock cut at 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches with a Teflon bone folder. And I'm putting um, this background that I created on our last release and review. That was made with um, Distress Oxide ink in Picked Raspberry. Um, and then uh, Gina Kay's Glitz Glitter Gel applied over top of it with the gum using the gumdrop stencil on Nina Desert Storm cardstock. So if you want to see me make the background, you can watch that video. Um, and what I did was I cut that um, the Nina background uh, at four by five and a quarter, and then the white background, which is just Nina Solar White cardstock, is cut at one eighth of an inch larger, and then uh, you know just to make a white layer. Um, on the A2 size card base. So there you go. I just love how glittery those gumdrops look. They just look so pretty. And I'm just going to apply that to the background with my ATG tape. And then on the inside, I'm just gonna use the same Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock, cut it four by five and a quarter, and I'll add that to the inside of the card. Okay, so this, um, the challenge for this month at Jada Blossom is use non-traditional colors to make a Christmas card. So I went with pink and blue, because you know, why not, right? So I'm going to add this piece of paper is from the Doodlebug Let It Snow six inch pad. It's just a, a, you know, just a plaid. And then I chose my colors from that. So I'm just adding a one inch strip to the inside. There you go. And then I will cut off the overhang with a pair of scissors. And this was a relatively easy card to put together. Okay, so now I'm going to put together my gnome. So I cut out my gnome in just some white scrap cardstock, and then I'm going to start putting it together. Now remember, when you're using the, the um, Christmas add-ons, um, the hat isn't the same, so you're going to have to do some trimming, and then the, the skirt isn't the same, so you're gonna have to do some trimming. So that's what I do. So I'm just going to, there we go. So I'm just making the bottom straight and then I will add on my dress first. With the girls, you always start with the dress. There you go. The boys, you start with the beard, right? So you're going to start with the dress first and then I add it with art glitter glue. And then now I'm going to add on this um, little layer onto the hat that was cut out of that same six, six inch pad, that gingham linen. So the linen side of the blue and then the gingham side for the pink. So I'm just doing the same thing with the little shoes, adding the little blue accent on. So cute, using my reverse tweezers. And I do weight it down after in between, just because, you know, to make sure everything dries flat. I'm going to add that blue trim to her little dress. I'm making a cute little pink um, plaid girl gnome, or girl elf gnome, whatever you want to call it. So now I'm going to add on the little feet, now that same plaid paper you'll notice I'm gonna use for her stockings. So I'm adding the little feet to the ends of her stockings there, and then I will weight it down. Isn't that cute? Just too cute. There you go. So while I'm putting her together, um, we'll talk about the uh, challenges. So remember, there is a challenge once a month at Jada Blossom. It's the first Sunday of the month. Um, so for this challenge, you have until December 31st, which is a Saturday, to upload your project to the Jada Blossom site. And, um, you know, and then you could possibly win a stamp set of your choice. So it's lots of fun. Um, the next challenge will go live on um, January 1st, so New Year's Day. So there we go. So I'm just adding on the hair was cut out of American Crafts, brown cardstock, the face is that P13 stamping pad again. There we go, the skin tones. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. It's so dry in my house.
I'm having a little sip of tea. Burnt my mouth a little bit there. So you'll see that I, I cut my legs in half so I can have her standing, which is my favorite way to have these, these uh, little elf gnomes. I just think, so, think they're so cute. So I'm going to stick them down, you saw, with some art glitter glue. I'm going to add her little bows on with some art glitter glue. That's that same blue um, linen paper from that um, Doodlebug Gingham Linen. There you go. I'm just making sure I don't have too much glue. I will be picking them up with that um, embellishment wand from Studio Cat. Yeah, so there you go. Now I'm pulling out Doodlebug's Christmas Assortment um, sprinkles, and I'm just going to add a blue one to her hat, and then I'm going to add two more blue ones to the toes of her little boots. Isn't that cute? Just, just adorable. I just love this little elf. She's so cute. Now I'm going to add on her little ears. So I add the glue to the back and then I sort of position my girl gnome over top. Or my elf, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to use my reverse tweezers to hold those down to glue, glue it in place. Okay, so now I'm using this little gumdrop. That's, that, that's from that baking, the baking add-ons. And I'm just, I cut it out of blue again. I cut the background out of scrap white cardstock. There you go. And I'm going to use Gina K's Glitz Glitter Gel just to add some glitter to that little gumdrop. I'm just going to use a cheapo spatula there to apply it. I just want a really thin coat. Um, doesn't have to be perfect though because it's just representing sugar, right? So, you know. But I'm just trying to get a pretty thin coat just because it dries the fastest that way, right? You don't want to glops of it. So there you go. Oh, I even dropped it and nothing happened. You'll notice I've got press and seal over that to keep it fresh. Okay, now I'm going to pop up this little gnome with some um, Stampin' Up Dimensionals. I'm just using the edges and everything, right? Trying to use it all up. There you have it. And then I'm going to pop her up on this really cute glittery gumdrop background, which was so easy. Uh, you know, I just blended Distress Oxide Ink onto Nina Desert Storm cardstock. And then instead of using the little dots, uh, the dot stencil, I used the same stencil to apply um, Glitz Glitter Gel over the whole thing. So I just think it turned out so cute. So now I'm popping her up in the center of this card base. Isn't she sweet? Oh. And I think these are perfect colors for a non-traditional Christmas card, right? Who doesn't like a little pink in their Christmas? Okay, so I'm going to pop up this little gumdrop that she's holding. Isn't she, oh, she just the sweetest. So there she is. She's like, look at my gumdrop. Now I'm going to glue down her little hands. And of course, I've got to get some glue going out of that nozzle. And I did, and then I'm going to pop up her little hands. There we go. And I realized that was the wrong facing hand that I needed, so there you go. I like to use that pointy part of the hand as the thumb. That's just me being crazy, Leanne. Okay, so now I'm going to add on the sentiment that says goody goody gumdrops. There we go. Isn't that cute? You gotta love those outline dies for sentiments. Now on the inside, I'm going to add two sentiments. Um, that's why I have three sentiment sets, you know, for this card. There we go. So that one says, magical Christmas wishes and gnome kisses, because you know how cute is that. And then this one says, Christmas calories don't count, because of course it's covered, the card is covered in Christmas gumdrops, right? So I just think that's just too cute. So now I did pull out my Christmas banner dies. I kind of brought those in at the last minute. I cut two out of that same Raspberry Fizz paper train cardstock and then one out of Simon Says Stamp white glitter paper. And then I'm going to color it in um, with a Spectrum Noir PP6 marker. Now I could have used a Copic, but I kind of, I always try to protect my Copic nibs. I'm sure it wouldn't have wrecked the nib, but you know, I'm kind of crazy like that. So I thought I'm just gonna use my Spectrum Noir. Those were the markers that I used before I kind of got into Copic markers. But it's an alcohol marker, works just as, just as well. 
So there you go. So isn't that cute? So now I am pulling out um, Nouveau Crystal Drops in Simply White. And I'm going to add little droplets to the top of this little blue trim. Um, you know, on the little shoes, on her little hat. And I just love using Nouveau Crystal Drops. They're so much fun. Remember that you're going to want them to be nice and warm when you use them. So keep them in your pocket before you use them. Get a, Make sure the nozzle is cleared out. And you'll get nice, perfectly formed little enamel um, embellishments on your cards. There. So I'm just sort of adding all those little droplets. And then I've got to add the two on the end. There we go. And I just think she's the sweetest thing, isn't she? Just too cute. I'm just loving it. So, you know, I can't wait to see what you create for this um, Jaded Blossom release. Or not release, for this Jaded Blossoms challenge for December. So, you know, come and play along. We'd love to see your creations. There we go. I do end up using two of these same Christmas assortment sprinkles in the upper right hand corner because I just thought it needed something. So that's what I did. I did go back and add some glue underneath those just to make sure they stuck because they are sticking on that glitz glitter gel. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop, stop, hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog. Be inspired. The Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these goodies. And at the blog, you can check out the link um, where you have to add your project. And we'd love to see what you create. So come and play along. And thank you, for as always, for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And hopefully we will see you soon in my next one. Bye, everyone.